find the volume of the parallel of play pad based at the origin with adjacent edges given by the position vectors 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 5, 6. So our answer is going to be you take the dot of the first vector with the cross product of the second two. Whatever number comes out, you throw away the sign. Okay, first, the short way to compute this quantity. So what do we do? We're going to take a matrix. I'm going to load our vectors in as the rows. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to multiply down three diagonals in one direction, three diagonals in the other direction, and then we take their difference. So this will be a lot easier if you put the matrix next to yourself, but with some practice, you can do this just by looking at it. Okay, so let's do this. So go down the first diagonal, 1, 0, 6, that's going to give me a 0. Okay, we're multiplying. Next diagonal, 2, 2, 0, we multiply, we get another 0. Then 3, 1, 5, I multiply, I get a 15. Okay, we're going to go backwards now. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 5, gives me a 10, but I put a minus sign on it. Then I have 2, 1, 6, put a minus sign on it, so it's a minus 12. And then 3, 0, 0 gives me a 0, so we just skip it. So what do I get? I have 15 minus 10 minus 12 gives me a minus 7. We throw away the minus sign, so the volume of my parallel pad is 7. Now, let's work it out the slightly longer way, just off of this definition. So what do we do? First, we're going to take the cross product of 1, 0, 2 and 0, 5, 6. So we put in i, j, k put our vectors in, and now what do we do? We're gonna do our business of cross multiplying. So we'll have i, I cross multiply, it's gonna give me zero minus 10, so I have minus 10i. Then for the j, we're gonna have a six minus zero. Okay, we forget about that there. So that's gonna pick up a minus sign since we're using j, so I get a minus six j. And then for the k, do the cross, we're gonna have five minus zero, so we get five k. So the cross is going to be the vector of minus 10, minus 6, 5. I want to take the dot product of that with 1, 2, 3. So what do we get? We have 1 times minus 10, so it's a minus 10. 2 times minus 6 gives me a minus 12. 3 times 5 gives me a 15. So our dot is just you multiply like slots and then add up. What comes out is a minus 7. I throw away the minus sign. So again, we see we get a volume of 7. Where's the formula for the volume of the parallel pad come from? That is y u dot v cross w, throw away the sign. Okay, to get to that, we have to unspool a bunch of definitions. So first, okay, the cross product. We know how to compute the cross product mechanically, but let's take a look at the geometric interpretation. So that's gonna have three things. The first, if I take v cross w, the length of that vector is going to be length of v times the length of w times sine of the angle between them. If you draw your picture, okay, you'll see that length of v times length of w times the sine is just going to be the area of the parallelogram spanned by v and w. Okay, you'll note that is also going to be the base of the parallel pipette if I take it to be spanned by v and w. Okay, so we know the area of the base is given by the length of the cross product. Next, okay, to define the cross product, okay, we know its length. So next, we also know it's going to be perpendicular to V and W. So that's going to form a plane for V and W, and then our cross product is going to be perpendicular. So it can point in one of two directions. The way we determine the direction is going to be our third point, the right-hand rule. So if I put V on my pointer finger, W on my middle finger, we curl, then the cross product is going to point in the direction of my thumb. So that tells you everything you need to get your cross product geometrically. All right, let's take a look at our parallel pipette. So we know about the base, okay, the area of this is length of the cross product of V and W. So if I draw on our third edge, that's adjacent to the origin, u. Let's take a look. We know that the cross product is gonna be perpendicular 
to V and W so I can draw it in like that. I'll call phi the angle between U and the cross. Now, if I want the height of our parallel pipe head, that's going to be, you'll see, given by, okay, we'll take a look. If I draw in the right triangle, okay, hypotenuse U, okay, we're going to have our angle is given by phi. So the adjacent here is just going to be cosine phi. So this height is going to be length of U times cosine of phi. So I have the area of the base, I have the height, so I know the volume of the parallel pipe head. It's going to be length of V cross W, area of the base, times the height, which is length of U, times cosine of phi. Now, one more thing to define. Okay, we have our dot product. So if I have two vectors, A and B, take their dot product. Geometry of that is going to be, you take the length of A, the length of B, multiply that by the cosine of the angle between them. So let's unravel that here. So what does that say? This says I have the cosine of the angle between U and V cross W. So this thing here is just going to be the dot product of U and V cross W. So that says U dotted with V cross W is equal to our volume. Okay, and note we might be off by a sign depending on which way the direction of V cross W goes. So if a sign comes out, we just throw it away.